what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna watch a movie so um a lot of you guys suggested that you wanted me to watch this movie i've always wanted to see this movie wanted to see it ever since it came out in theater but i held off because i knew i'm probably gonna have to react to this movie um so that's a thing of the past me going to the theaters is basically a thing of the past for me i've been missing out on a lot of movies when they just came out for this very reason um of the perspective of watching them later when they're out on you know blu-ray um to have to react to these movies now um here we are with bad boys for life with will smith and martin lawrence <clears throat> it took them a while <laughs> to put this movie out you know i've watched all the interviews and and stuff like that that they did when before the movie came out and, and the main thing that they talked about uh, especially with Will Smith was that he said he wanted it to be right he, he just didn't want it to be another sequel but he wanted it to be something of worth something of meaning to wrap the series up but hey let's see what they have in store for us let me stop talking because I really want to see this movie I'm super excited so go ahead hit that like button because you know we're about to have some fun you already know these two together is magic there are if you've seen bad boys one and bad boys two you know what i'm talking about like their chemistry on screen is extremely um entertaining so let's go watch the movie and i was the link is down in the description you already know what to do and i will see you guys for the review <laughs> sometimes i really wonder i really do need um to get my pc um uh, my pc that i'm building done because this this laptop is, is not it it's not hidden right <laughs> you know what i'm saying like um i do want to get like a a laptop to do the actual recordings on because um you know yeah I do need to, but in any case, um, let's do this review. Bad Boys for Life, Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, ride together, die together. Bad Boys for Life, yeah. <laughs> great, great movie. I enjoyed it thoroughly, of course. I know you guys will have enjoyed it too. If you're back here for the review, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm still in the mode of thinking about this movie because it was actually i think it's out of the three it's, it's the best written one it's the best written one you know what i'm saying there wasn't it wasn't too too much action where you weren't into the movie itself like the storyline around movie one and two i think movie one um bad boys was very very good storyline was very good got a lot of action in that movie but for this one for some for some reason we got a a better way better story behind it even caught me off guard because i would have never expected them to call back something from the very first with a conversation that happened that never even really happened you know what i'm saying of him mentioning that he was in love at one point at one one time in his life he was he, he was in love you know what i'm saying so i didn't think they would have used that to build upon the relationship between them because i thought this was just a revenge thing she just wanted to kill him because he was involved with the case you know what i'm saying and it was a case that made her go to prison make maybe the, the father go to prison or the father was killed or something like that or her husband so Whatever the situation is, it ends up being something 
that caught me totally by surprise i didn't expect them to go that direction and that's just the mark of good writing when you can catch your audience off guard when when they are prepared for the regular storyline as you can see from seeing my reaction of me saying if it ends up that rita is a part of this i would not be surprised because sometimes it's obvious that's that these guys that directed this uh, and you know what i'm saying like they are aware of stuff that people has used in the past to kind of give hints to people of peep of people that may be involved in a sinister plot or something like that because i recognize it they did it they really did it. even in the scene when i when i told when they totally went the other direction where he continuously kept looking up at rita and also marcus kept looking at rita and i'm saying marcus is looking at um at mike and he's looking at rita too so i'm like oh do they you know what i'm saying so oh, and meanwhile he was asking um alexander's character to um i can't remember his name right meanwhile he was asking him to check out the phone he was looking up at rita so they used that misdirection to catch me off guard which they did you know what i'm saying so obvious right that they that uh, they use that as misdirection to let us think it's going one way and then the other way and then when i actually actually think back to certain things that happened in the movie you know it was wrong of me to 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 really consider rita because she knew nothing about the the phrase the hasta la fuego or whatever they say right um you know because at first i'm like but that phrase makes no sense you get what i'm saying like it, it made no sense the first time he said it i was like that's not spanish that's it's not proper spanish if if i don't know anything i like i can't speak spanish very well but i can understand it to a certain point i don't understand all of it like i, I can't speak it fluently but i can understand a lot of it i'm like that doesn't make any sense that's not proper or improper spanish so i was like what does that even mean and they they happened to explain it during the movie where they said that um it's just something that they came up together like a code between him and her between mike and this um the lady and it was like this the witch right so it was it was amazing to see how they wrote this story and i think it is the best story out of all three no doubt about it you guys can gauge for yourself if you watch the movie of course to let me know if you think it was the best or it wasn't it doesn't really it doesn't really um well it kind of matters <laughs> it kind of matters you know what i'm saying um i want to know you guys opinion on if you've watched all three movies now um what you thought of this storyline i think this is the best storyline i think um they actually put some effort into writing this um you know one of the things that they explored is you know what i'm saying you getting older but you're still like on this young man shit like you you have you know guys who are 40 years old still going to the club and shit you know what i'm saying and it explains a lot it explained a lot it explains why he, he, he's always dressed up like that you know what i'm saying um she taught him how to be that way to have that swag and i can see how you would fall in love with someone like that because you know what i'm saying this person is teaching you um i can guess 20 20 something 25 years ago you know what i'm saying he was pretty young you know what i'm saying like maybe just come out of the academy doing undercover work and he was so deep in it that you know what i'm saying like maybe he got used to the lifestyle and stuff like that so he basically you know um she taught him how to dress doing all of this stuff and you know what i'm saying gave him a little something something you know what i'm saying and they fell in love together she thought he would never betray her um ended up they having a son so the storyline was pretty dope so they really explored a lot you know what i'm saying of a, of a person who realizes their age uh, martin's character realizes their age wants to retire done with the foolishness you know what i'm saying um just just wants to to be relaxed you know what i'm saying be on your quarantine life you know what i mean like what we doing now just be at home just relaxing you know what i'm saying just listening 
the audio books and you know what I'm saying just living a retired life man just enjoying the rest of your life just live eat get fat whatever you know what I'm saying so it's amazing it's amazing I don't want to drag this review out for too long I enjoyed the movie um, for what it is um, as I said it's not no Oscar worthy performances or anything I'm just saying Will and Martin together is always I would love to see them do another series together even though other people would probably say no but there's a lot of actors out there that are duos that have done multiple different kind of movies together um you know so it's not that big a deal if they do another franchise together um their chemistry on screen is palpable it it comes out of the screen you can't avoid martin i think was the funnier one in the movie of course but he has to be that because will is the mo more accomplished actor he's more he can he has done all types of roles martin has always been funny martin has never done anything like super serious he's, he's always been funny comedic movies will has done it all he's done serious movies he's done comedy he's you know what i'm saying he's done the drama stuff he's done he's done everything so he's done action he's done everything so he's, he's so it's like he's more accomplished so you're gonna expect a, a better performance out of will smith um as an actor then you're gonna get out of martin martin has to be on top he has to be that comedy genius that he is to to um to actually go back and forth with will smith or to you, you know what i'm saying to be there for that chemistry to go forward you know what i'm saying so um i'm very happy to say that i'm giving this movie a solid eight out of ten you know solid eight out of ten it was a great movie great way to maybe close the franchise we don't know because of that ending scene there could be something um in the works for them later maybe Arma Armando is going to continue the franchise in a different way I would watch that for sure if he's you know if Armando is now following in Will Smith's footsteps doing undercover work and he's the new bad boys maybe using ammo for backup or them has his backup as he's undercover and stuff like that um and maybe we could bring in will smith as a you know what i'm saying as a a, a, a camo um no is it a cameo not camo jesus christ i'm trying to remember the word <laughs> right as a cameo to um to kind of provide you know him as a i would love to see will smith in in, in a higher position in the force than just a detective you get what i'm saying in a more accomplished position you know watching over his son as he's on, on the cover maybe he has to step in and go help his son do some work in the next movie or something like that i think i think um martin has done what he needs to do but i don't see a storyline for him to come back in again you get what i'm saying like i don't see a storyline for him to come back in again it could they could turn the franchise into a more gritty franchise not a necessarily um action comedy but a more just action action you get what i'm saying like an action actual bad boys action just straight action not a lot comedy but not so much you get what i'm saying this is not like you know fast and furious kind of um thing but you get what i'm saying like just action not saving the world kind of thing but you know what i'm saying like something off uh i don't want to put it in that grain but um i would love to see something like that i'm not going to lie i would like to see them take it to a more serious kind of movie i think I think it could I think it's a franchise that could go on and on um, no doubt but don't rush him out don't make it a every year thing or something like that maybe every you know three to four years or something like that we get a new bad boys movie continuing the saga of where these guys really left off I would definitely watch that anyways as you guys have as you guys have seen I'm giving it a solid eight 
out of 10 so i hope you guys enjoyed the movie as much as i did and you can leave suggestions in the comment section for movies you want to want me to see next if i have not if i have there's a lot from for me to do right now a lot already suggested that i'm going to do but this one just i really wanted to see this movie and now it's out on the streaming platform so i downloaded it boom ready to go anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always leave a like in in leave a like don't no, hit that like button i should say subscribe if you're new i'm doing more movies if you guys are not immediately able to watch the movie on the google drive of course you just have to wait a little bit because i'm not going to upload it anywhere else i'm not going to put this movie on bit shoot um if you guys want to see it it's right there in the google drive okay so if you can't watch it right now just wait a little bit maybe wait a couple of hours and try again that's just how it is okay so um so yeah man that's all i have to say for now and i'll catch you guys later peace